Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Renouncer. Today we're going to talk about what was just announced about four hours ago. At four o'clock in the morning it seems, cause according to this tweet right here. The actor who was playing Yusuke Urameshi in a live action New York show Netflix. Oh my god. So another, yet another one of the most popular 90s animes is going to be put into live action by, you know... Dog shit Netflix, you know, the same Netflix that made our greatest hits, like Cowboy Bebop, that was canceled after one season. Death Note, that was so fucking bad, where they race swapped an, an important character named L, and made him black. But L is not black, he's, he's white, and he's a, an important character. Full Metal Alchemist, and the most recent, you know... Resident Evil live action where they literally race swapped another important character named Albert Wesker. He was like the integral part of Resident Evil. But we're once again going to go back to the nonsense of doing live action for adaptations again. But really. The live action version of New York Show has its star. IGN can exclusively reveal that Yusuke Yurameshi will be played by Takumi Kitamura. And of course, we have this. We're going to read that in a minute. Stay tuned for more announcements throughout the weekend. And then, you know, they have this little rose, which is usually signifies Kurama, not Yusuke. But okay. Let's take a look at some of the comments. We got this person trying to simp for this person. Like, who cares? He did another live action. Who gives a shit? I don't even know what the fuck Tokyo Revengers is. I've never heard of it. Must have been bad. I say we give this one a chance. No. We we gave we gave Cowboy y'all gave Cowboy Bebop a chance y'all gave Death Note a chance y'all gave Full Metal Alchemist a chance. How did that work out for you with Netflix? All flops. And One Piece is going to be a flop, and Avatar is going to be a flop, and Naruto is going to be a flop, and it's they're just going to continue to be flops, and we're going to have people just continue to watch this garbage. It's Nef it's this person's correct. It's Netflix. It's going to be like Cowboy Bebop. We're all just going to. And we all know how that ended. Literally canceled after one season. Like people are not happy with this. I'm not happy with this either. Like Yu Hawk Show is like in my top five favorite animes. It's number four for me. With Cowboy Bebop being number one, Outlaw Star, uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion, Cowboy uh, the Yu Hawk Show, and then Saint Seiya Knights of uh, Saint Seiya, the original one, not the new one. No, no. Netflix, when it comes to ruining your favorite anime, this could be dope. Copium. <laughs> People are 100% going to complain. It's already happening. Yeah, because it's going to be shit. Because everything else was shit. Everything Netflix does with live action turns to shit. And it's, be, it's proven to be shit. You got freaking Resident Evil comparing um, the T-virus to the Koof. Like, are you serious? Like... A virus that turns you into a zombie somehow is is compared to the flu. Like, what? Council of Cowboy to make this? Yeah, well, the live-action Cowboy Bebop was shit. Did you see that Ed character that was in there? It looked like shit. You cannot remake something like Ed in live-action. It's just literally impossible to do. The cast doesn't even doesn't need Amer any Americans. Keep it Japanese. Although The Rock as Taguro would be awesome. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. It could literally pick anybody better. Like The Rock is not that good as a fucking actor. He's he's good. He's not that good. Making him Taguro, no. Taguro is one of the biggest villains in that damn show. We don't need a goofy looking dude like The Rock to play him. We don't need anybody playing him because we don't need a live action Yu Yu Hakusho. But we'll go ahead and read the article. Exclusive Netflix Yu Yu Hakusho live action manga adaptation reveals its star. We've gotten our first look at Yusuke. Netflix has found the star of its upcoming live action adaptation of classic manga Yu Yu Hakusho. IGN can exclusively reveal that the main character Yusuke Urameshi will be played by Tokyo Revengers Takumi Kudomura. And just, just for context. Tokyo Revengers live action. Here's the rating for that one. 
a 6.4 with only 1,200 reviews. Does this look good to y'all? Like, this doesn't look good either. This doesn't look good either. And this is the person you chose to play Yusuke for a better anime by far, superior. Netflix announced the adaptation last year. I don't even remember that. That's how much I don't care. Which will present a new version of the 1990 manga in which a teenage boy Yusuke dies and begins a new after... Oh, by the way, this is spoilers. I don't really care. If you, didn't, if you haven't seen this anime yet, I don't know what to tell you. As an underworld detective, Kitamaru, you know, these are the things he's been in. Let me eat your pancreas, which is weird. Tokyo Revengers, which you just looked at. We'll play Yusuke, and you can see him. see a first look at him in costume below. Costume looks fine. It's going to be shit. It has nothing to do with costume. could look as great as it wants to be. The writing has to be good, though. And it most likely will be. The original work is a universal and unique masterpiece. And the reason why Japan is so proud of its strong manga and anime culture. It is. Yu Yu Hakusho is indeed a masterpiece anime. And if you haven't seen it, go watch it now. It has four seasons. Go watch it. The Dark Tournament arc is fantastic. I am happy to share the masterpiece of Yu Yu Hakusho with the world. And I hope that we can create something people everywhere will enjoy. They won't. It's already been created. It's called the anime. It's called the anime. It's already been created. It's called the anime. Every People everywhere enjoy the anime. It doesn't need a live action. Kitamura tells IGN. Kitamura is the only member of the cast announced so far. Netflix's synopsis of the manga and show follows. The manga revolves around Yusuke Urameshi, a junior high school student who spends his days getting into fights and dies in an accident while trying to protect a young child. As he grapples with the fact that he's looking down on his dead body, a woman named Botan, who calls herself a guide to the spirit world, relates to him the shocking truth. No one expected a delinquent like Yusuke to die for an act of goodness, and there was no place for him in either hell, heaven or hell. Yeah, he was a big troublemaker, and he was always getting into fights and messing with people, and kind of bullying people. But his final act on 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 as a human was he saved a little girl from being hit by a car. Essentially. And I guess they didn't know what to do with him. Because they couldn't choose whether he would go to heaven or hell. Thus, Yusuke is given a chance to provide. After passing his trial, he becomes an underworld detective. From there, Yusuke becomes entwined with him in a mystery that envelops the human, demon, and spirit worlds. A spectacular adventure of Yusuke will now become a live action series. Again, it doesn't need one. I will say the same thing I said about the Cowboy Bebo live action. Go watch the anime. It's better and far superior and always will be. Netflix appears to be diligent about calling this a manga adaptation, although Yu Yu Hakusho has also been adapted as an anime in the past. It was a beloved version of the story, and it was we've previously called it one of the best anime series of all time. Because it is. It is one of the best anime series of all time. That's why it's in my top five. <laughs> when I first heard about Yu Yu Hakusho receiving a live-action adaptation, I honestly wondered if it would even be possible. But after being presented with the producer vision and possibilities of Netflix, I don't care about the producer's vision. I don't care about the Netflix producer's vision. I care about the person who created the actual anime and created the manga originally. I care about their vision being being present, being represented, and being upheld over what the hell this producer wanted. I guarantee this producer doesn't know a goddamn thing about Yu Yu Hakusho. She's probably never seen the anime his entire life. My expectations grew, and I found myself burning with passion to make this project come to life. More than anything, I think the appeal of Yu Yu Hakusho comes from its characters, which is why I wanted to highlight the appealing relationships and battles in Yu Yu Hakusho. Director Sho Tsukikawa tells IGN. Did you even watch the anime, though? I don't see any mention of you saying you actually watched the anime, though. There's no... I mean, it says you wanted to highlight the appealing relationships and battles, but do you know about any of the relationships or battles? Do you know about the relationship between Yusuke and Kuwabara? Do you know about the relationship between Yusuke and Hiei? Yusuke and Kurama? Kurama and Hiei? Or Yusuke and Botan? Because you don't mention anything. You're just generalizing it in this statement here. You're not saying anything specific that anybody would care about. Tsukukawa says that the show will include plenty of action scenes. Yeah, you can include plenty of action scenes. That doesn't mean there will be good action scenes. So you there's been plenty of movies and shows that have action scenes that were not good. 
The visual effects we use are quite advanced as we utilize cutting edge technology aimed for the best quality we can achieve. Lastly, from the very beginning, we were strongly aware of creating a series for a global audience. See, this is the problem. We don't need it. We don't need it to appeal to a global audience. The only people that are going to be watching this are people who are curious, who enjoyed the anime, which is, again, going to be far superior to this garbage. Because, once again, Netflix has not created any live action that was good. And, again, One Piece is going to be trash. Avatar is going to be trash. And Naruto is going to be trash. So... Just like when I first heard about this adaptation, there may be people out there who feel it's an impossible undertaking. It is. It, 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 it is. There is no feel it's going to be an impossible undertaking. It is going to be an impossible undertaking. You cannot take things that you can naturally do in anime and make it into live action. Again, they tried it with Cowboy Bebop, with Death Note, with Full Metal Alchemist. The list goes on, and it was always garbage. But no matter how many ways I express how I feel, I believe the work will speak for itself and prove it's possible. See, at least he's not shitting on the fans. He's saying, you know, we'll make it speak for itself. I don't think it'll do. I don't think it'll speak for itself. I think the only thing it'll speak for itself would be that it'll be trash because it's not the anime. I will continue to pour my heart and soul into the project and deliver the best entertainment from Japan to the world. He says, "It's the end of the pair. It's the end of the uh, article there." But like I said, like we'll. You know, Cowboy Bebop was canceled after one season because it was terrible. And it was and it was canceled before it even finished airing before even like before, like, like, right, you know, less than a month after it came out. I mean, is what I mean, according to this, less than a month before it came out, like. Less than a month ago, actually, it says the streamer has, streamer has canceled the anime animation on Space West after its premiere less than a month ago. But this was from this is an old article, so this is from 2021. So, so I mean, the show was not based. This show was not based on the anime TV series or the film. This was based on dog shit that y'all wanted to put out, and y'all thought y'all would get away with putting this dog shit out. And have Daniela Panetta putting all those bullshit fucking tweets out and, and videos out about uh, my scrawny ass and blah, blah, blah. And they pick my scrawny ass. And I, sorry, I couldn't look like I couldn't wear the costume in this, but you could wear a scantily clad outfit in a different show because you're a hypocrite. Dragon Ball Evolution was trash. Ghost in the Show I've never seen, so I can't even, I can't attest to that one. But uh, from what I hear, it's bad. Alita Battle Angel, that's how you do an adaptation. That's how you do a somewhat great adaptation. Because I don't know, I, don't, I haven't read the books. But that movie was excellent. That was an excellent film. But like I said, Death Note, 4.5 with 84,000 reviews. And again, you race swapped L, a, a, a very important character in this show. Literally, well... Light was technically the villain, but to Light, L was the villain. So, Full Metal Alchemist, 5.3. Alphonse Eric looked great, by the way. And then this is the thing that the guy who's playing Yusuke, this is one of the shows he, this is one of the movies he was involved in, or shows. And this looks like shit. So if you think, looking at this, you think uh, any of these other ones... You think this is going to be good? You're out of your mind. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure to hit the like, subscribe for more content. I will be putting out a video later on about the one of the God of War writers trying to get Kratos to talk about kissing guys and all that. So I will leave a link to my Twitch channel in the description. I will not be streaming today, but Sunday I will be if you guys want to hang out there. And please, please head over to the here and back to Ripperverse because this is going to be awesome. This is going to be good. We're already at, is already in Eric July at Young Ripper59. I'll also leave a link to his channel in the description. This is almost at 2.2 million of 69 days to go as of this recording. Going back this book, because this is going to be great. 
All right, that's all for now, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.